we're here at BYU and this is an exciting day to show you how to use the Peapod and DoorPod. So thank you for watching and let's get started. Hi, we're here at the BYU Conference Center and this is one of the first urinal we conducted a test uh, with uh, BYU. This particular urinal at the Conference Center on the right used to flood with one flush. So let's see what happens now. Now you're looking at it and even after flushing it one time you can see it's draining just perfectly. Stick it into the hole, make sure the grip is there, press it against the wall, slide it in, and the installation is perfect. For demonstration purposes, we'd like to show you that when you get the peapod out of the case, remember to bend this pin in the very back by at least 90 degrees. Now, I'd like to show you that this particular type of Kohler urinal here at the uh, BYU Library, it takes the pin to get bent back by additional 45 degrees angle. So we're gonna use this wall as an example. Let's say that this is the surface of the urinal, and as we place this pin, you can see this flexing action of the pin, and then you insert it up into the hole. So remember, you wanna bend this pin back by as much as 90 degrees to ensure that the insertion is tight and has that spring-like action inside the urinal hole. Well, let's take a close look up at this particular Kohler urinal here at the uh, library at the BYU. You can see that the water is actually splashing by hitting the peapod. That's because the water pressure in this particular rest urinal is very high. And so we just wanted to show you how it's splashing to the side. And you can actually eliminate this by turning the valve right at this section. There's a little cap here. If you turn to the left, it will come off and there's a flathead screwdriver right below this cap. You just simply crank it to the right, and as you crank it to the right, it will lower the pressure. It'll still make the urinal function properly, but it won't have this backsplash from the water hitting against the peapod. So that's a quick way to eliminate this backsplash issue. It still make the peapod function properly in this color unit. Now this particular brand, it's a fairly new urinal, uh, and one of the things we notice is it has a high efficiency uh, usage in this urinal. That means the pressure is a little bit higher, and as you can see on the top part of where the water is flushing out, it's much smaller than the pin for the peapod. Now what we did was, if we come against this tile floor, tile wall, you can actually see the existing pin, and then we have this secondary pin called 332 second size pin. This pin is designed especially for Peapod to be inserted in this exact hole and replace this larger pin so that it will actually insert into this crane. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to replace this pin. From this pin, that's the larger pin, to this secondary pin, which is what we call a 330 second size pin. Now if you touch this pin, it's gonna be sharp. So what I recommend is use the suction cup that comes with the Peapod and just use it as a grip. You wrap it around so you won't cut your finger and jiggle it to the right and left. And as you bend it, jiggle it right and left, it will gradually pull out. See how it's re removing now? You can see how it's moving? There we go. And then we're gonna insert the secondary pin into the same slot right here. Use the suction cup again to protect your finger from any sharp edges. And then simply reinsert it into this peapod. Okay, so remember, we just replaced the larger pin with this smaller 332nd size pin. And then we bend it back by 40, 90 degrees, okay? And then we will insert it to the upper hole right here. We'll, we'll put it in, put it 
push it against the wall and slide it in. There you go, that's perfect fit. Let's see how it works. Hi, now we're right here at Tenor Building and every one of these urinals have K-pop. So let's go in, take a quick look at each one of the urinals. And one of the interesting things we're going to show you is the actual drain. You can see that it's completely clean. Let's go to the next one. So as you can see, when you use the peapot regularly, and my recommendation is to change it between 30 and 60 days. This one here, being closest to the door and entrance of the urinal, have the highest usage. You can still see slight stain, but you can see that it's getting recovered and getting clean. You can see that recessed part of the stain that's moving away, cleaned by the peapot. Hi, this is Richard's building. This is a great example of where Peapot is really needed. This is the bowl shaped urinal. However, you've noticed that they've actually used the suction cup to install this Peapot. This is a brand new unit, and so you can see that it's starting to clean some of the uric acid. And let me flush it just to see, show you that some of the stain and the washing action that Peapot is already doing as we speak. You can see right there where the stain is starting to wash away from the other part of the urinal. Let me start the see all that stain? And yet this part is getting cleared because this is a brand new pea pod that must have been just installed recently. Let's go to this rest urinal here. In this urinal, you can see that it's already been restored. You can see that stain is actually washing out from the corners of the urinal. So I just want to reiterate that in this type of bowl shaped urinal, it's probably best to use a suction cup to install a peapod, and we'll discuss about that in the later part of this program. Okay, in this particular color, as you can see, it will take a suction cup. So what we did was we removed the pin from the peapot. This is a suction cup, it's made from silicone. You simply enter it into the back hole right here, snap it in, and then you can find a clean spot right inside the top part of the urinal, and you can actually mount it and it will stay in there. When you install the suction cup, make sure the surface is clean from any buildup of uric acid or the peapod will slip and slide to the bottom of the drain. So make sure the surface is clean with an acid cleaner and then install it with a suction cup. You know, people tend to judge when they come into a facility like this within the first three seconds. That's where the dog pot is so great. By hanging it right over the door, over the handle, as soon as they come into this restroom, the first impression they get from your hard work is a refreshing fragrance that shows that this restroom is absolutely clean. This door pod placement in this tanner building on the first floor restroom is a perfect location. It's designed to give the first impression as you open this door and as the students or faculty comes in here, they can appreciate the cleanliness you have provided by the fresh scent coming from this door pod. Great location. Yes. <laughs>